Hello. Hello. So, just a quick introduction. So my name is Amy. I'm going to be your counselor um, here at the Victims Advocacy of Genesee County. And um, just to tell you a little bit about myself, I work with children and young adults and um, I am a social worker. I've been a social worker for 10 years and I specialize with, with children and adolescents. And um, I was just wondering, what's your preferred name? Avery. Avery, okay. So Avery, our mission here is to help you in whatever problems you're having, any issues because we want you to feel better and get better um, just so you know everything you say is confidential what does that mean it means like I have anything you say to me I won't go tell anyone I'm not gonna go tell your parents or anything like that or you won't get in trouble um, but if you say you're gonna hurt yourself or anyone else I would have to tell someone okay okay all right, so um, because you're new, why don't you just give me a little bit of a background about yourself, like your interests, what grade you're in. Okay. Uh, Let's uh, start with what grade are you in? Where do you go to school? Um, I am in seventh grade and I go to Clarence Middle School. Nice, do you like it there? Yeah. Okay, and so do you live at home with mom, dad, brother, sister? Yeah. I have a mom, a dad, a brother, and a sister. Are they older, younger? Older. So you have an older brother and sister? Yeah. Okay. And um, what else do you do? Like, what do you like to do for fun or activities? Uh, I like to think I'm very artistic and mm -hmm. I like to make jewelry and uh, I like to hang out with my dogs. I have three dogs. That sounds like fun. I love dogs too. Um, so anyway, so um, now that we've gotten some of that stuff out of the way, would you like to talk about what brings you in here today? Um, I've been having a little bit of issues with my friends and, uh, well, like, I've been having problems with my old friends and how they bullied me. So your, your current friends don't bully you? Or you're just, you're having issues with your past friends? Yeah, my past friends. Like, they're not my friends anymore. And do they continue to bully you, even now that you're not friends? Uh, like, sometimes if we, like, are, are in the same class or not really, like, in the hallway or anything, I try to stay away from them. But, obviously, in class, like... You can't avoid them. Mm -hmm. Something like that. And what about, was there, was there anything that led to it? Um, was there anything that changed? Um, they just kind of started changing themselves and I didn't really like it. They started acting out and I just kind of felt pressured to act out with them. So I started backing off away from them and then I started like, I don't know. <laughs> and when you say they were acting out, what? Like, can you be more specific? Like what, they, what were they doing? Were they... They were, like, vandalizing others. Um, oh, wow. Like, property, and, like, they are making fun of people. And I just felt like I didn't want to do that. So I started staying away from them, but they're obviously still in my life because we still go to school together. So it sounds like your their beliefs and their actions were not aligning with what you felt was right so you wanted to get away from them and that yeah. sounds like a really good decision you know you want to surround yourself with people that have the same sort of values as you 
right? Yeah. So do you think it's working what you've been doing? Does it work to just stay away from them? How uh, do you feel about like your new group of friends and stuff? Is that? Yeah, I feel like, I don't know. Do you feel it's working out with your new friends or do you still kind of feel like you're in that like in-between space of leaving that old group of friends and like kind of finding a newer group of friends? Yeah, because some of them like don't get what they do and um, some of my newer friends don't act out like them but still hang out with them. Oh, so you're kind of in the middle between the two. Yeah. So how much does this affect you though like throughout say your day does it affect is it affecting anything else you know like your yeah. school work or how you feel um, um, does it take up a lot of your time like thinking about it well they're in like two classes with me and in those classes I kind of don't feel productive or like I'm not getting anything like done and I'm not being focused and I feel like uh, because I'm getting anxious and stuff around them because like we have a past okay that makes sense I can understand that it would be hard um, when you can't get away from the person and that's bothering you um, but it sounds like you're making really good decisions and you're still sticking with what you think is right for yourself yeah so are there any other things that you think would work um, or that you'd want to try to work on that would help you with, you know, maybe getting closer to your new friends? Um, well, me, like, me and, like, my mom and my dad and, like, my principal and guidance counselor have known that I have been going through these issues and, um, are thinking about moving me to, like, a different schedule um in the next semester so i can move on and like still get through school because it has been affecting my grades okay well it sounds like you've got a good plan um so what i'd like to do if you want to still if you'd like to see me um on a regular basis we could meet you know like twice a month or whatever you feel works would you want to do that yeah it would you think it would help and we can come up with some mm -hmm. strategies it sounds yeah. like you're already taking action because you're you know you told your parents and your guidance counselor and they're working on it um, you know maybe we can work on um, some more skills that might help you like empower yourself yeah. and um, stick up for yourself but it already sounds like you're doing such a good job um, so if you want to keep meeting that would be great I'd love to help okay. you you know, and any other problems you might be having that might come up. Does that sound yeah. good? Yeah. Okay, so how about for the next meeting, you come up with a list of some of your strengths, mm -hmm. and then if you could come up with some of the things, like feelings or things that maybe make you upset or sad or whatever, and we can work on how we can maybe focus on those, change those, um, and give you some skills to help you. Okay. Does that sound good? Yeah. Okay. Well, it was nice meeting you, Avery. I hope <laughs> to see you again you. soon. Okay.